Welcome, I had a comment on one of my videos asking how you can use Raspberry Pi camera board with the FFmpeg script. So I thought I'd make this video talking about how to connect it up. So if you find this video helpful, I'll put a link in the description to the hardware I'm using, and if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. I'll also put a link to my Raspberry Pi playlist, and I'll also put a link to my FFmpeg notes on my website where I have some kind of recipe type things on how to do different things with FFmpeg. So most of what I'm doing here, you can find on the FFmpeg website under Capture Webcam. It's down in the Linux section with video for Linux. So I've kind of pared that down to what you need to get this running. But you can look on that website if you want to see more stuff. So I'll open up a terminal and I have notes here and I'll put these notes on my website too so you can copy and paste them or at least look at them in more detail there. So the first thing you need to do is get your camera board up and running. So you want to type sudo space raspy dash config, hit enter. And then in here you want to go to interface options, camera. And that says, would you like the camera interface to be enabled? And you want to select yes. I just hit escape out of there, that's why the error was there, because I already have it enabled. Then you want to go to performance options, and I'm on a Raspberry Pi 4 with 4 gigabytes of RAM, and I was running out of memory, so I had to go to GPU memory, and this was set to 128, and I upped it to 256. So you type that in, and then say OK, and then when you do that, it will have you restart your Raspberry Pi. Hopefully it doesn't do that here. So I've done those two things to my Raspberry Pi, so I'll clear my screen here. So next we want to install V4L utils, which is right here, so I'll copy that. So first I'll type sudo space app space update and that will update my package list so I make sure I have the latest packages available. Next I'll paste in that command. So the operating system I'm using right now is Raspberry Pi OS. It's the latest version as of January of 2021. And it had FFmpeg installed, but other versions you can type in FFmpeg if you don't have it installed already. I'll hit enter. I've installed both of these already, so that's already done. Otherwise you would hit yes and have it install. And then I'll show you these commands, but you can ignore them because I've already gone through the trouble of making it all work. But you can paste in this list all formats and it will list the formats available to you with the camera. I can't say I know what all these do or the best way to utilize all of these, but they're there if you want to dig into that. And you can also run this v4l2 ctl list formats dash ext. And this gives you kind of the same information, but in a different format. So you can see it here. So we're going to be using H.264. Another one that would be common would be Motion JPEG. So I want to preview the video. So I have this FF play command here. So before you record video, you should always play it like this. That way you can debug it and see if there's anything wrong. So I'll hit play. And this should display full screen. So I have this pointed at my laptop, the camera, because I needed some motion so you could see if the camera is working. So I'm just pointing at the laptop. It doesn't look good, obviously but you can see there's motion here, my hand, I'll put my hand in front of it. So I'll hit Q to exit out of that. So let's take a look at this command. We have FF play, that means we're gonna play the stream. FS means full screen. Format is V4L2, that's video for Linux. We have input format is H.264. The video size is 1920 by 1080. So before I changed the GPU memory, I wasn't able to even preview 1920 by 1080. I was able to preview 720p, but if I quit it and went back, it wouldn't work. So upping that GPU memory seemed to fix the problem. The frame rate is set to 30. The video input is dev video zero. So if I want to record that, I can run this command here. And this is similar to what we were just looking at, but I added this. Let me change this screen so it's easier to read. There we go. Added this vcodec copy and then the name of the file, video.mp4. Now, if you don't have vcodec copy and you have video.mp4, this will try to re encode it to h.264, but it's already h.264. And when it tries to encode it, it will lag and you'll probably miss frames and stuff. So, what we're saying here is we want to take that stream from the camera and just put it right onto the disk. If you want the video smaller or something, you can process that later. Now, if you're streaming video, you may need to tweak the settings a bit, but if you get into re encoding this video, it'll slow things down. So, if you need to make this smaller, instead of doing a video format in FFmpeg, you'd be better off changing the video size here. And I don't know all the video sizes this supports, but you can do 720p and 1080p. So, if I hit this here, it will start recording. And you want to look at this speed, and it's 1x or above. And that means you're not losing frames. If this had, you know, 0.5, that would mean you're losing half of the frames. So you don't want that. So if you've captured enough video, you can hit Q and that will stop it. And then I'll type ls and we'll see I have this video.mp4 here. 
and I can type ffplay video.mp4. And there we go, this is the video I just recorded. Of course, this isn't full screen. You could add dash fs here, and that would make it full screen. There we go. So these ffmpeg commands can be incorporated into other scripts to do different things. If you want to stream this to something, you can use this. You could stream this directly to YouTube or Facebook, I'm guessing. I haven't tried that, but I would imagine it could probably do that. Now, this may not cover everything for everyone. So if you do have questions, drop a comment below and I can hopefully answer it or maybe I'll make another video, we'll see. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.